podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 1416, Jeff's Slicer Trick. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jalen. Well, last Monday, episode 1411, I kind of put a challenge out there to try and figure out how I was using the slicer, the pivot table slicer, to update uh, the words. And then last week it looked like smart art. This week, uh, you'll see that it's just a shape. In fact, but uh, and five people uh, answered the question. I'll figure out how to do it. Although it's funny, last week I was showing a picture and we had many different answers on the picture. So we'll, we'll visit the picture issue on uh, Wednesday. But first of all, let's just talk about how to do this slicer tricks. And congratulations to all five who are going to get a copy of Learn Excel 2007 from 20 to 2010 from Mr. Excel, the brand new book that just came out. Uh, so uh, we'll scroll up and, and take a look at this. Here's the original data set one through five. And here is the pivot table, and you'll see that as I change the slicer, the pivot table is showing just a single value there. That's it. From that point, uh, it's a simple VLOOKUP or an index function in this case to pull up the correct value. Once we have uh, a cell with that value, then you have a shape. Click on the shape and equal C8. So let's kind of just build this, uh, build this from scratch. I have five choices this time, so I'm going to hold down the control key and drag down. You know, and actually, you could even do this uh, where we put the result and the names of the winners, cut and paste. And then we're going to build a simple little pivot table. So insert pivot table. OK. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to, that slicer field is going to go up in the slicer. The result will go here in row labels. And normally, we would have something in the values area, but not this. Uh, in this case, we'll drag that out of the way. Insert slicer, slicer. Click OK. Now this always shows up in a single column. I like to change it. Go up to five columns and resize. All right. So now, as soon as we choose from the slicer, the pivot table will update with just the correct answer. So I can use that cell A4 as the driver for uh, you know a shape or anything like that. Let's just do it quickly here. Insert shapes. right facing arrow and then to get the text for the shape just click here and say equal A4 press enter there we go a little bit of formatting and uh, we're home free all right so that's cool you can use this for all kinds of uh, types of things where we just have uh, the slicer basically as a control instead of an ActiveX control to uh, choose from a simple list. Again, that came from Jeff of PivotStream. Tomorrow, I'm going to show you an amazing trick uh, that PivotStream lets us do with uh, Power Pivot uh, and uh, with, when you don't have SharePoint using Power Pivot on the web. So check back for that tomorrow. Okay, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another NetCast, Mr. Excel.